I want to talk about something that I keep seeing pop up and that I have experienced in my own life and that is when someone is new to the faith or they're new to salvation and they're very excited about God they're very on fire for the Lord they're talking about the gospel and Christ and what God has done for them and then all of the religious people will move in as we say I don't mean I don't mean Christians but I mean like the church worshipers the people who are always pointing to their church and pointing to their denomination rather than pointing to Christ and they will move in and they will show them all of these ways where they're wrong and they were wrong about their salvation they'll cause them to doubt their salvation they'll cause them to doubt their ability to even read scripture to even study it I don't mean that a Christian should know that they they understand and can comprehend every word of the scripture the first time you read through it but that's why we study it and these church worshipers will move in and the thing is is, is <laughs> the thing about the church worshipers is they will have a lot of imagery about that looks like it's pointing to christ looks like it's pointing to god looks like it's pointing to to the gospel but in reality when you listen to them and you pay attention to what they're really glorifying they're glorifying their denomination or their institution the actual building itself the men who did it they're not there i don't really know how to describe it so i guess i'll just leave that there and i could be wrong i hope i am wrong um but i'm not wrong about this that i've seen it where these religious people will move in on someone who is new to the faith and basically just bombard them with all this you know whose authority do you have to say you're saved and uh you know causing like again causing them to doubt their salvation and these people, they don't lose their salvation by interacting, by, by being drawn away, but they do lose the enthusiasm. They lose the passion, that, that being on fire for Christ and, and being excited about what God has done for them. They lose that, and it's something that will have to be regained once they come out of the whatever traps that the religious crowd has set for them. And this is why in Colossians we are warned to be beware of those who will lure you away from Christ. And, and I mean just pointing towards Christ. See, if you go into a church and there's a 50-foot tall statue of Christ, you know, and you go in there and say, hey, you guys are not pointing to Christ, you know, they can point to the 50-foot tall statue and say, what do you mean? You know, we've got the biggest statue. You When you look in here, when you look into our church, you can see nothing but Christ. We have pictures of them all over the wall we have statues and yeah i get that sorry i'm out of breath <laughs> i'm walking up a hill i get that but um are those statues and are those paintings are they for the glorification of christ or are they are they are they ornaments and decorations that point to how wonderful your church is that's kind of how i feel about it um I don't know if I'm making any sense with that, but I guess what I'm trying to say is to both to people that are new in the faith, be ready for that. Be ready that your that that fire, that enthusiasm that you have for the gospel is going to be attacked almost immediately, especially in today's world. And especially if you post anything online, you're going to be attacked immediately by 10 different uh, true churches trying to convert you away which they can't take away your salvation, fortunately, but they can take away your joy. And we shouldn't let that happen. So that's going to be it. And um, you guys have a blessed rest of your day.